Zabrinsky! Zabrinsky! Rowan. It's Paul Joseph Watson here with the InfoWars crew at Bilderberg 2011 and this morning was the leak of the official ND list. I say official because routinely there are members that appear at the meetings but are not on the official roster of guests. So basically the most amazing aspects to come out of this are the attendance of two um, Chinese representatives, um, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs Ying Fu and a professor of economics um, from Peking University, Yipeng Huang. So that's very interesting to see how that will play into the treasuries and the dollar situation with China because some there's an Asiatic member represented at Bilderberg, but it's very unusual to have two Chinese attendees. Um, going down the list, of course, we've got politicians like Rory Stewart, the UK Member of Parliament. Uh, that's basically Bilderberg grooming members to become future uh, president uh, ministers to take positions of authority within the British government. Of course we've got Peter Mandelton himself, he's a regular attendee. Going down the list here, country, and this list is posted on Infowars.com. Herman van Rompuy, president of the European Council. Some people are saying that he's actually in Italy at the moment, so we'll see his late arrival. Um, we've also got obviously the Queen of the Netherlands, the Queen of Spain, their regular attendees, Kissinger Rockefeller, we've got Rockefeller on tape, then. Doris Luthard, the federal councillor here in Switzerland, she was actually on the front cover of the newspaper two days ago, so the Swiss media scooped that one, and uh, we also we got a photo of her arriving yesterday, which is posted on the website. Um, the attendance from the good old US of A, we've got Facebook represented with Hughes, the co-founder of Facebook, obviously Eric Schmidt, the Google chairman, we've got Microsoft with Craig Mundy. So this internet crackdown that Tucker was talking about today with the money to regulate the internet is going to be key in those discussions with those members. Um, we'll have more from Bilderberg Live coming up, stay tuned. Well, I was with Hurricane Switzerland uh, two nights ago, and they actually wrote their parliament members here in Switzerland a letter about the harassment that has been going on with the police trying to stop journalists from taking pictures and taking videos. And the parliament member actually wrote back in an official letter addressed to us and the police stating that they must respect journalists, they must have people's rights to photograph and do their jobs here. And we actually just handed off that letter. As you see, he's reading it right there. Matt, can you get B-roll footage of them reading that letter? They're getting official left parliament, and just like Matt here told the police officer, he will be held accountable and will lose their jobs if they don't follow the orders that's being, that's being given to them by not just the police commander, but now a parliament member of the, uh, of Swi uh, the Switzerland's parliament here. Great, turn uh, and get him yeah. reading that letter. Over. Now, they're, now they're finally reading the letter, and... Uh, that was one of the guys, that's Dominic right there. That's the gentleman of Weird Chain Switzerland that actually uh, wrote the official parliament. Uh, he's now having a conversation in some kind of language that we don't even understand. And uh, it'll be good to get his comments on there since it was his idea to write this letter. And uh, it's just amazing that they're actually uh, responding to this. So it's a small victory for freedom of press for us info warriors out here. And uh, now we're actually standing somewhere where it was illegal to actually stand. And now we get a great view of the Bilderberg Hotel just a couple meters away from here. And we can actually look in the windows with a zoom camera and find out exactly what's happening here. And maybe we could even get some members like Kissinger. Now this is also the crazy thing. Uh, we are chain Switzerland. Uh, hey, Dominique. 
tell us what what did you write to your parliament member? Yeah, we was um, followed by police cars. I didn't know if it's really police because they have the German numbers, and uh, we did some moves on the street to see if they are really following us or we're just paranoid. Yeah. And so. We uh, wrote a letter to inform our uh, lawyers and our uh, politicians about this, this happening, that they are following us, that they are uh, trying to destroy our media coverage, that they um, uh, take people out and, uh, and uh, search them for yeah. no reason. Yeah. And so I have here an official letter from the parliament, from now Dominic Batik. It's called, um, in the parliament he wrote a letter, it's, it's really uh, angry about this that the journalists cannot uh, free in this country because it's a free state, a democratic state, and our, the people's sovereignty is above all. And so we have to uh, get the media coverage, the hotel, but the police is uh, sending us away, and, and uh, it's really scary sometimes. And he mentioned that the chief of this region, Barbara Janom Steiner, is. Um, is responsible for everything what's happened here even if a journalist is uh, is driving into a wall be followed by the police or even if it's uh, the police said there's a bomb was 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 installing yeah. here and if there really was a bomb the chief of this one is responsible for it and the letter says um, the, the that uh, the federal counselor is all also here so it's it's very very important that we can uh, put out some message and we can cover the story that our federal counselor is here meeting with uh, criminals, meeting with war, uh, war criminals, yeah, this, this, this has apologized to us that we can call them uh, for our own security. Uh, they are here for our security and so, so between, the, the the lines, police, yeah. between the lines we think we have uh, some friends in there. So The police? The police officers, not the, not the leading figures, but I think the, the, the one who only followed the art old orders. Yeah, because they're being told by Secret Service, yeah, 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 the yeah. FBI, and MI5, Mossad to actually CIA do their is, job. CIA is there, is there always, they yeah. said. And they're telling yeah. them what to do. But now you're actually making it different because now the legislature Later. Yep. What, what, what was his name? Dominic Patrick. Dominic Patrick, yes. and he's a representative of the parliament. Uh, he's a representative of the Swiss People Party. Yeah. And he's uh, elected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now, now we get an official letter. Now we get to send him a message. And tonight he will come to his hotel and uh, bring another letter because he's written that uh, Henry Kissinger is coming, and he told uh, every prosecutor in Switzerland that they should immediately arrest Kissinger and. Uh, Den Haag to the to the uh, war charge. I don't know his name is in English. I wish we had these kind of politicians in America. Okay. But he's actually calling for the Henry Kissinger. Yes, actually calling. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. And he, he he has uh, that the thing he has done with Bush. Uh, Bush was uh, invented to a meeting in Geneva, Switzerland, and he also wrote a letter to his uh, uh, prosecutors. Prosecutors, and they are close this. Uh, Invitation. And and Bush didn't come because of didn't that. come didn't come and uh, Al Jazeera and BBC uh, is the headline Bush fears protesters. Wow. So, so because of a letter that this parliament yes, wrote before, yes. Bush, who was supposed to speak in Geneva, Switzerland, yeah. canceled his talk because he was wanted for war talk. criminals yes. by the prosecutor and by this representative. And now he's calling for the same thing. Senator. That's just amazing. Yeah. And now the, the prosecutor said, and, and this guy's looking for pictures and videos of him so we can confirm he's here, right? Yeah. Right, right. The people are waking up, the media, the mess is coming up there the first time. They, they heard about Billy Burger. They are thinking about, uh, they're thinking a little bit other, uh, the other stuff than before. Yeah. And it's conspiracy theory because they see they are really conspiring. Yeah. What exactly we don't know, but they are conspiring against the normal citizen, against the, the, the human. Yeah, they, so. they can't say this doesn't exist anymore. Yes. When we're here with yeah. a live video camera feed for mint floors. Anything else you'd like to say? I'm uh, free to people. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is that okay? Okay, we're here again live at Bilderberg 211. Uh, next is Lucas Ryman, a uh, member of the Swedish People's Party. Swiss, Swiss People's Party. <laughs> Excuse me, I got my countries confused. Uh, there's so much going on. Uh, just please recap everything you've said about why you're here and why you support uh, holding the Bilderberg Group accountable, that they shouldn't meet in secret, that they shouldn't intimidate the press. Yes, I do support transparency. I want that uh, 
the people have to the right to know what is going on here, uh, what are they doing here, who is here, and this conference here is doing that. It gets to the press, it gets to the people, and we make a lot of pressure to the Bilderbergs now. Great. And uh, could you talk a little bit about uh, Switzerland uh, uh, and it being a sovereign country, uh, how you have your own currency and how it's very important uh, for it to be a sustaining system? Yeah, that's very important for Switzerland. We are a country where freedom really is very important for the people. We are not a member of the Union. We, don't, we have our uh, own currency. We um, have this direct democracy that people can decide about everything. You do not vote a politician and he can do what he wants. No, people can decide about these things and we want uh, to, to own it. We, we, the, we, are, we are worried to lose that, this freedom, the democracy, the federalism that you can decide in, in, by the people and not far away from the people. I think it's very amazing to see each year how much the media uh, coverage of this event gets bigger and bigger every year we go on. And right now we are seeing the growth of the alternative media that is covering this Bilderberg group, group meeting from top to bottom. And it's just amazing seeing not the mainstream media that's controlled by the corporations, but the people of this showing everybody else who all with one YouTube video, with a Facebook post or a Twitter post, exactly what's happening. And that's where people are getting most of the majority of their information. And I have we are the mainstream media. It's no longer we're trying to become it. We actually have become it because most of our information is given and shared throughout the world. And it's just beautiful. So many great activists here from all walks of life. There's people with kids here, there's older people, there's young people. And it's just beautiful seeing so many different people of all coming together to document what's happening here. I wouldn't even call this a protest. It, everybody has a DSLR camera around their neck. Everybody has professional camera equipment. And we're here just trying to show the world what's happening. And it's just beautiful with the potential and so much amazing show people without any corporate mainstream media saying, oh no, you can't talk about this. There's so many We Are Change chapters here, it's even hard to list. I can't even keep track of all of them. And We Are Change Switzerland is doing an amazing job down here. They organized an amazing event that we're at right now. They have also uh, wrote their local politicians exactly what's happening, the harm that has been going on. I've been here for about two days now, and I already got my passport taken away. Uh, I already got detained. I already got threatened with arrest and deportation from the country just because I'm here filming what's going on. And the question has to be asked, if these so-called rich people don't have nothing to hide and aren't doing anything sinister, why in the world are they treating people who want to cover this event, who want to document what's happening here, being treated like criminals? And uh, they're pretty much in this place like Fort Knox, and it's just crazy what's happening. I've been actually traveling all over Europe uh, the last couple days and I've been in France, I've been in Spain covering major presses and I have to say people in France, people in Spain, they all heard of the Bilderberg group. I've talked to random people on the streets, I've talked to people at protests, many people know what the Bilderberg group is, many people are sick of the left and right paradigm, many people just want to be left alone. They want these big banksters, these big banksters that are here secretly meeting, they want them out of their they don't want all their money to go to them, they want free them, they want liberty, and I was shocked and amazed to see the true spirit, the true ideas that we've been pushing forward for many years now, so alive here in Europe. There's such a disconnect between us and the Europeans, the Americans, 